So let's say you're interested in evaluating the Ichimoku system, but you're not going to go to completely to that. You want to also be looking at the uh, charts and indicators that you are typically used to looking at. If you're using Thinkorswim, you're probably using the uh, Charts tab. And you're drawing your charts using the Charts tab. I'm going to suggest something different. I'm going to suggest you go into Trade and you go into Active Trader right here, Active Trader. And when you use Trade Active Trader tab, you're going to have a lot more flexibility in how you lay out your charts for comparison purposes. So once you're in that mode, you're going to have something perhaps that looks like this. Let's just use one without Ichimoku. So you're, you've got a chart that looks like this. You may have multiple grids, and you, have, you may have multiples. This works as well for multiples as it does for one. Let me show you how it works for one, and then we'll move to multiple charts. So here you are with your five-minute um, uh, two moving averages chart. And you'll see on the side here that in Active Trader, there are buttons where you can open um, trade initiation uh, um, action buttons. You can look at time and sales. You can open the Active Trader um, window. Um, but you have three different types of charts. I'm using chart two. Let me open them all up, chart one, two, and three. And you'll see you have three different charts that you can open on one symbol. I'm going to just use the left and the right. So I'm going to turn off chart and keep chart two and chart three open. Chart two, which is unfortunately this one on the right, and chart three is the one on the left, allow me to look at a five minute chart that I normally, that you might normally work with, while the one on the left is the one with the Ichimoku. So you're always looking at your chart for trading, but now you have the opportunity to just take a look and glance at the Ichimoku um, to see if it's giving you additional information as you're learning and you're adapting and getting used to um, using Ichimoku all the time. If you want to get serious and you just want to focus on your chart and forget Ichimoku for a second, then just click on chart 3 and turn it off. Now to go into the multiple chart, much the same. So let's say we want to go into four different um, symbols. So we can go to Amazon here. We'll go to um, Cat here. And we'll go to um, Silver here. And we'll turn off Active Trader in each of these, because that seems to be the one it pulls up in default. And we'll pull up the chart 2 in each window. And you'll set these to the style that you want, which is your, I call it 5-minute basic. And now when you want to look at, let's forget about this one for a second. Now when you want to look at two charts of Apple, you click on chart three and you've got your Ichimoku next to your five minutes. Same thing over here for cat. You would have your, that's wrong, let's see, we had chart one up, that's why. So we want chart two and chart three. And we would set this one to our five minute basic. And we would set this one to our five minute Ichimoku. And again, you can turn off the Ichimoku anytime you want and just focus on your chart. So you see how we have the ability to look at what we're used to looking at and just taking a quick glance at the Ichimoku and turning it off using Active Trader and the ability to set up um, large grids with up to three different time frames uh, at, in one, at one time.